can be a very overwhelming experience for children with the changes in school environment, unfamiliar classes, new teachers, and many other new changes. While many learn to adapt over time, mental health professional Jenny Lovell advises that parents can help in the transition. It's really important that parents take this on very seriously. In primary school, we tend to let them get away with a lot of things. I believe the discipline should start in primary school, but a lot of parents don't do this. In high school, you have to do it because the child now, in, in high school, they're not going to be babying them. They're going to fall through the cracks or they're going to get expelled. So as a parent, you absolutely have to be talking to the child about, you can't go to school playing anymore. You know, all the stuff you did in primary school, and you have to sit down and have the talk with them, serious talk, mm -hmm. not one time. Remember, pe people don't assimilate the information in one talk. Mm -hmm. But you have now, what, two weeks before school opens? Start the conversation. Parents should take the time to talk to their child about the added responsibilities that will be expected. In primary school, teachers basically are spoon-feeding the kids right and, and they, they have to because they're little mm -hmm. but in high school there's a level of responsibility that's expected and so they absolutely have to become engaged in doing their work they have to take the work home and parents need to check Another thing I'm going to say it right now, parents need to be checking with the teachers. You don't wait for the teacher to call you when the child gets in trouble. You want to be checking with the teacher. Make calls or stop in. And, and I'm serious, stop in at minimum once every two weeks. The child needs to come home, get a snack, study. And they need to set time for math. They need to set time for English, especially the subjects that give them problems. So they have them make out a schedule, you know, of how much time they will spend studying. You don't want them to do chores or anything until they have done what they need to do. Do the homework, do the studying, and then go do chores. In between that, they'll stop and get something, supper to eat with the family. Hopefully, they're doing family meetings. Yeah. But study habits, and you have to teach them study habits. It's discipline. Also be sure to pay attention to their social integration. You have to be monitoring your child to see if there are differences in the way the child is behaving. Now as teenagers, they'll generally tend to want to isolate anyway because they are more interested in their friends. Their friends have more say than you as the parent. But you have to be watching to see if you're seeing any signs of, um, for example, them not eating or they're not enjoying things they used to enjoy monitor their behavior monitor how their be uh, their their attitude is to see what's happening and then ask them what's happening at school it may be a teacher it may be they're being bullied it may be the clicks that they're not getting into but as a parent you have the responsibility of making sure that you're checking with the child now for some parents the challenge can be knowing just how much to let go to allow their child to learn responsibility you have to have a balance you can't be laissez-faire, meaning you just let them do whatever they want. And you can't be too authoritarian where you're dictating or you're just like babying them. First of all, the kids are going to tease them. If mom is constantly bringing you all the way up to the school and dropping you there and kissing you on the cheek before you go inside, the child will get teased, right? You can't be doing everything for a child. You ha a child has to learn to do for themselves. Otherwise, what they do, they become dependent on you. And what you're doing is that you are now teaching this child behaviors that they need to become adults. I mean, yes, they're starting their first day of high school, or their, their first form of high school, but you're beginning to teach them the things that they need for life. But you have to stay involved. You cannot just let that child do whatever. Remember I said laissez-faire or, or the authoritarian over here. It has to be right here in the middle, where you're authoritative, where you are making sure that you're checking with your child, you're, you're making sure you're giving them the information that they need, and teaching them how to make good decisions. As teenagers, you know, this is the age where the cliques are important, the friends are important, but you, they want limits. They want limits, they want, you, they want the guidance, they want it. But it has to be in a loving... They won't say they want it. No, they won't. Mm -hmm. But they want it. Okay? When, when I see them, they, my mom doesn't pay me any attention. And, and it hurts them. So they're not going to ask you for it. But they want it. Please stay engaged. Lastly, 
open the lines of communication with your child and allow for a bit of negotiation.